I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, it's January 29th, 2022, and it's time for a tech room update. We're actually in the living room in a new home right now. Um, so this is how things have been coming with getting moved in. It's kind of messing here right now. Um, but the good thing is, you can see there's a lot of empty boxes. So I mean, I've been getting stuff unpacked. It's just been quite a pro um, been quite a process. Um, still got a little bit of work here in the living room. I got to install a piece of threshold over the carpet here in the center because um, eventually we're going to be getting new flooring in here, um, and going to eventually have somebody come out to do the drywall work, or I may do it myself. I don't know. I'm on the center of the, where the two halves meet together. So if, uh, for those who aren't familiar, this home was broken down and moved from about 30 minutes from here, um, from a place right off the lake. And I tell you, it was quite, it was quite a uh, journey last year with the process of having this home uh, broken into two, moved off its former lot, moved here, south of my lot. Been busy, but it's nice to be living here finally. <laughs> but uh, anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and look here. Definitely I'm making progress. I think in the last video I had gotten this table brought in. I think I had this green uh, bookshelf back there in the closet area. But uh been bringing stuff in from out in the building. All that good stuff. I still got to install my lighting over this table. It was the lighting that was over, over it previously. It's uh, down there in the box. And uh, I also got to figure out how I'm going to put lighting over this table because I'm going to have two tables now, two separate tables. I figured that was the best layout for this room. I mean, one idea I had was having a table here and having a table here, but I wouldn't be able to easily access the back corner. Well, original plan was actually to put the mid-tower Lux in here, but I decided, you know what, I think the best place for it was out here in the living room. Cause that way I can watch TV and eventually when I get the wood stove in I'll be able to tend to the fire and stuff like that but uh also it freed up more room in here I'm telling you guys it's uh definitely nice and like usual I'm tired wore out <laughs> it's been a long week at work but uh so yeah guys it's definitely coming along uh the sink the uh Got the uh, Cougar Plexi hooked up, and it runs. Matter of fact, I'll go and start it. For those who haven't seen this thing run forever, so yeah, guys, it. Uh, I plugged up and ran it one time over at my parents' house while I was living back over there. Had to get some. I was looking for some files because the uh, Black Max went down. I had to completely uh, wipe and reload the Black Max back in. I think it's November or December. Not sure what the deal was with it. Everything, everything seems fine with it now. But uh, had to hook the Plexi up because I thought I had some files on it, and it turned out I didn't. But uh, hooked it up, and of course it ran just fine. And you can see it's running fine now. Definitely think it looks nice in here. And I'm gonna be doing some videos in the in the interim, so I did set up a little light here. I'm actually going to be doing a video, I plan to do a video of uh, opening up the power supply unit that I use to feed the lights in here, the over, hit the, uh, over table lights. I'm going to, um, I plan to open that up and just check it out and everything, probably redo how the wiring is on it. I'll talk about that later in that video, but anyways, I got this, got this little lamp here temporarily and you can see it doesn't really, I mean it lights up a little section of the table, but it definitely, it's like no comparison to what I, uh, gonna have over this table yeah when you, you want decent quality videos you gotta have good lighting it's just as simple as that one thing I do like about this uh, new room is uh, unlike the single wide this has drywall it's not it wasn't the wood paneling that I had in the single wide I hated that stuff um, number one it was dark it was brown so it didn't it wasn't good for uh, for getting good light throughout the room um, of course it would just 
it would just absorb the light and it wouldn't uh, reflect it back whereas this uh, much lighter color paint on this drywall does a whole lot better at that it's uh it makes the room seem brighter and also that paneling you couldn't hang stuff onto it easily I, um, if you were lucky you could beat a small nail into the paneling but uh, at that time it was it was pretty much a no go um, I had to tape still like, like for example um, like uh, some of, the, some of these uh, signs I had printed out I had to, had to tape those to the wall because I was the only way I could get them to stay up there and, uh, anyways now we got uh, we got drywall so definitely much nicer and I've had a few people ask me or at least one person asked me about the motherboard wall of shame that was something I had back up in the old bedroom of my parents house back before I moved out of their house in 2016 um, at least one of you have asked if I was going to put that back up and unfortunately I do not plan on putting back up the motherboard wall of shame um, because I tell you it le um, it left some <laughs> it was a lot of little holes in the sheetrock in that wall and of course my dad was going to redo the bedroom anyways after I moved out so it wasn't too big of a deal but I mean I just don't plan on doing it over here, um, really to be honest, because in the event I do put up all those motherboards and stuff, there's going to be a whole bunch of little marks in the drywall, and should I convert this back into a bedroom someday, I'd have to, it'd be a good bit of work having to um, sand and mud and redo all that, so no, I'm not going to do the mud wall shame again, I don't plan to anyway, um, yeah, it's just a matter of finishing up here, I still got stuff out in the building mainly like computers and stuff like that just like towers old towers and stuff like that I got this thing here uh, I'm gonna making a video about that probably here later on and, uh, yeah guys it's uh it's coming together it's coming together so anyways hope y'all enjoyed this video thanks for watching well, everybody, that's it for this video, but don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel, and also don't forget to tick the bell so that way you'll get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, but if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat, interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back, and thank you for your support.